have your jam board open in one um, tab, and then you need to open the modeling Yellowstone's food web rolls table in another tab. We good so far? You okay? All right, so we're looking at ecological roles, definitions, and examples. I'm going to give myself a little bit more space to run on. that you read that have to do with what they eat? I was going to say grizzly bear. Their diet. It what? They eat the wolves. They eat the wolves' leftovers. Oh, okay. Oh, eat the wolves' leftovers. Okay. Carnivore. Carnivore. Herbivore. Omnivore, y'all saw that too? Uh, I don't know. It is on there. <laughs> so y'all are typing, I'm writing. Uh, predator? Okay, predator, yes. Is there a specific type of predator that you read about? Apex. Uh, Apex predator. Take the wood, let them Yes. Y'all are doing great so far. Okay. What other kinds of words did we see? That is, that's an ecosystem Primary engineer. Consumer. Primary consumer. I'm gonna put that right here. Mm. Are we supposed to fill up every single one of these? Yep. We're being recorded. All right, what other terms did we see? Aspen. I don't know Aspen is a type of um, plant, oh, yes. That's great. Was there any other words that said primary something? We have a primary producer, primary consumer, and was there any other types a of secondary consumer? Very good, secondary consumer. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute to get caught up, typing that in. How are we doing so far? All right, I'm going to use a different color for the next one. All right, so for definition, what's the definition of a carnivore? Eats meat. Eats meat. Eats meat. Eats meat. Okay, and what animals on that list or on those cards were carnivores? Bears. Bears. Was a bear a carnivore? Oh, no, it's an omnivore. Oh. It's an omnivore. Oh my god. A coyote. Good, a coyote. Probably a wolf. Yep. No, they're, they're, they're slightly different. Wolves are larger. Coyotes hunt in packs. Wolves sometimes hunt in packs, but they also um, they go solitary sometimes. I've never seen a wolf. I've seen a coyote. <laughs> All right, so a herbivore. Am I going too fast? I'll slow down. No, herbivore. Okay. A herbivore, what's the definition of that? Eats vegetables. Eats what? Vegetables. Or just not meat. Grains. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what it's called. All right. So, what on that list? Elk. Elk, okay. Um, a pronghorn. Pronghorn. An aspen is a plant. Yeah, but like there's Western wheat. Never mind. Never mind. Yo, we're looking at herbivores that eat plants. Oh. 
What's another animal that eats plants? A beaver. A beaver. beaver. So we wouldn't put plants here because plants don't eat plants. All right, omnivore. Eats both meat and plants. And the bear is the example. And it's not all types of bears, but grizzly bears are omnivores. Does this say longhorn? Pronghorn? Pronghorn? I wish I saw a picture. So I took a picture of a grizzly. I was like six feet away from it. We were on the side of, it was on the side of the road. Oh, wow. It was eating flowers. Were you stuff. in a car? Mm -hmm. I love that. That's exciting. Uh, apex predator. <coughs> yeah, so apex predator. What do we think a uh, definition for an apex predator is? Top of the food chain. Top of the food chain? What'd you say? Oh, I'll, for example, we do a link. So. Okay. What from the, we're just going to focus on the ones just in here. Oh, they, they don't have many predators. Okay. So they're at the top of the food chain and they have no known predators. Oh, that's easy. Then top of food chain. Oh, okay. Gray wolf. And what is our apex predator? A gray wolf. A gray wolf. Aspen is what? Would it be a primary producer? It is a primary producer. Western wheatgrass. Yep, and western wheat wheatgrass. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what is a definition for a primary producer? They produce. They are top producers. Okay, they're top producers. What's What's another word for a primary producer? A plant. A plant. And where do they fall on a food chain? Bottom. They're the bottom or the base of the food chain. I'm trying to write clear. What would a primary consumer be? Uh, middle of the food chain. Okay. Or the top. They oh, they consume the, the bottom of the food chain. Yes, so they are the ones who eat the primary producers. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They eat primary producers. What's another name for that? Uh, herbivore. 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 Uh, <laughs> I know. I know what you want. I didn't. I didn't phrase that very well. <laughs> what are some examples? Oh, beaver. Beaver. Pronghorn and elk. Thank you. <laughs> So another word for the primary producers would be Herbivore. the herbivores. And are you okay? All right. Secondary consumers. Eat primary consumers. Good. They're going to eat primary consumers. And but they also might eat plants. So omnivores. And omnivores. Yes. So carnivores and omnivores fall under secondary consumers. So what would go here? Uh, coyote. Okay. So 
I'm going to move this over because. Uh, all right. So the way this looks on a food pyramid. Well, that is bad. Yeah, it does. Maybe. <laughs> Just start over. <laughs> Oh, right. So what goes at the very bottom? Uh, plants. plants or primary, primary, primary produce. All right. What goes on top of that? Uh, primary, primary consumers. Primary consumers. Above that? Secondary consumers. And then apex revenue. Apex. Okay. Well, I did not record that very well. All right. So, which way does energy flow? Does it flow bottom up or up down? Down. Bottom up. Bottom up. So the arrows would go this way because that's the way the energy flows. All right, so we're going to refer to this for the next part of our lesson.